Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. The Israelites have been scattered across the four corners of the earth, as prophesied in Deuteronomy the 28th chapter. Here in Israel, united in Christ, we need your help to recover the remnant of our people, teach them the gospel. Please help us, support us, and join or donate to the Booster Club today. Shalom. So far too long, our people don't know who they are, according to the Bible. That's right. Our people walk around thinking they black, thinking what? They Hispanic and Native Indians. So, read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 18. Oh, you know? Where there is no vision, uh -huh. the people perish. So where there is no vision, the people perish. Our people is in the low estate as, as, as of today. Right. Our people don't know who they are. Bring it out. They don't know who they are according to the Bible. They don't know they're the Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. Read that again. Proverbs chapter 29 and verse 18. Uh -huh. Where there is no vision, the people perish. So our people don't know who they are, just like the Bible said, because there's no vision in our communities. There's no vision to bring back our people as a nation. Bring it out. Bring it Let's out. Uh, get Deuteronomy 1 and 1 real quick. Oh, uh, finish that out. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. So we got to keep God's laws. That's the bottom of the, uh, the, that's the, bottom of the line. We got to keep God's laws according to the Bible. That's right. That's right. Bring that out, oh, Deuteronomy 1 and 1 real quick. So who are we according to the Bible? We're the Israelites. We. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter two, chapter 1 and verse 1. Uh -huh. you know? These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. No, unto all nations. Moses spake unto all Israel. Hey, brother, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Yeah, you. Oh, can I ask you what's your nationality? African American? Yeah. Oh, uh, where does that uh, term come from? Do you know? Yeah, it's from the white man. It came from the white man, you're right. You know what I'm saying? So that don't make you African American. Because African American, really? it's, a, it's, two, uh, it's a Caucasian man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's the two Caucasian men. So that don't make you, what, African American? That's break it off. you're not white. Right. So according to the Bible, we're the Israelite. Israelite. He's right. Israelite. Break it out. So I'm about to show you who you are, your history of the Bible. Alright, come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Teach! But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is um, the same man Moses uh, given to the Israelites when we came out from Egypt. That what? If we don't listen to what God is tell, telling us to do, uh, something, something is going to happen in, in the future. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command you this day, that all these curses shall come upon me and overtake me. So, all these curses is going to come on us if we don't keep God's law. You know what a curse is? What's a curse? I don't know the definition. Well, is it a good thing or a bad thing? Bad. Exactly, it's a bad thing. So, one of the bad curses of the 37 program. One of the curses that kept on us was our nationality was taken from us. Right. Verse 37. Uh -huh. And thou shalt become an astonishment, uh -huh. a proverb, and a byword among all the nations whither the Lord shall lead thee. So one of the curses that came on the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Indians, but we was we we not become an, an astonishment. Our nationality is gonna be taken from us. We're gonna become a by a byword. A proverb. So what's a byword? You know what a byword is? A byword is when you so-called blacks be called outside of your God's name. You're supposed to be called Israel, but they're calling you African American. They're calling right. you black. They're calling right. you Hispanic. They're calling right. you Native Indian. They're right. calling you niggas. Six, wet back, all that. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's not, that's a byword. You know what I mean? But our uh, true nationality is Israel. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. Of a thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, whither the Lord shall.
I'm leaving. So that curse right there has become what? Has become uh, history. It's become a reality between uh, the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and native Indians. You know what I mean? So the Bible is a real book. So it's we right. have to come right. back. We have to uh, give me Zep Zep Zephaniah book, the whole life. Give me Zep uh, Zephaniah 21. We have to come back as a nation and come back to our true nationality and repent and keep God's heart. That's right. Read. That's right. This is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 2, in verse 1. Bring it on. Gather yourselves together. Yea, gather together. O nation, not desire. So we have to, one of the uh, solutions out of the Bible is what? We have to come together as a nation. Because guess what? Other nations don't love us. Yeah, other that's nations, right. That's right. All these other nations, they hate our guts. That's right. Why? What's the reason why is that? Now, one of the reasons why other nations hate us is because what? We got some of the people, they know it. They know that. That's why they, we keep getting shot in the street. That's why we live in the worst condition ever. Right. Read. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 83, in verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against our people. So they have taken crafty counsel against God's chosen people. So what is the crafty counsel this other nation uh, took against us? And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation. See that? So they uh, all conspired together to do what? To come against us. And we? Let, let us cut them off from being a nation. Uh -huh. That the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Yeah, that's all I want out of that. So they, one of the uh, practice castles that they uh, did against us is what? They took our nationality away from us. Right. Well, the other reason why they took our nationality is what? We break you guys up as well. So we got to take that responsibility on us too. Right. You know what I'm we got to start coming back to keep guys on us as a commandment. Right. right. Do you know what today is according to the Bible? Okay. We're going to teach you uh, what today is according to the Bible. Come on. Read. Oh, this, is the, this is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, and verse 8. Bring it up. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Why is God saying remember the, uh, to keep the Sabbath day? Because we, we don't forget. As you can see, all our people are not keeping the Sabbath day holy at all. This is not how we keep Sabbath, according to the Bible. According to the Bible, we're not supposed to work. We're not supposed to cook. And we're not supposed to buy and sell on the Sabbath day. And today is the Sabbath day according to the Bible. That's right. That's right. Verse 9. Six days shall thou labor. So six days. You have six days to work, to labor, to do uh, whatever you need to do. Like work. Read. And do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. And the seventh day is, the, uh, is God's day. It's, it's the day of the Lord. Now you know today is the Sabbath day, right? So you have to come back and start keeping that law. Right. Oh. Um, what else? Oh. Uh, give me yeah, Exodus uh, 16. So because I, I said something about you're not supposed to cook on the Sabbath. So let's read about that uh, in the Bible. Read. You know? This is the book of Exodus chapter 16 and verse 23. Uh -huh. And he said unto them, this is that which the Lord has said. Uh -huh. Tomorrow is the, the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Lord. Uh -huh. Bake that which you will bake today, and see that which you will see. So this is going into what? How to uh, prepare for the Sabbath day. So many what? In order for you not to cook on the Sabbath, just cook a day before, a day to break, prepare your food for the Sabbath. Read. And that which remaineth over, uh -huh. lay up for you to be kept until the morning. See that? So whatever you have left, just, you know, leave it. Yes. So that way you can eat it the next day. You know what I mean? Yes. So that's one of the reasons why we have to not cook on the Sabbath. Because it's a law. We cannot break that law. But give me another law about the Sabbath. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 35, and verse 3. You know? Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. Yeah, so uh, another uh, reason why we're not supposed to cook is what? It's going into not uh, lighting no fire to cook uh, food on the Sabbath. So that's it on that. So 
how did you know uh, you was an Israelite? Or how did you really hear about Israel? My mom, she just started learning about it, seeing that a whole child of a friend, her, and I to participate in all the stuff we used to do. Okay. And uh, he had got Okay, so the brother said he know uh, about the truth before uh, before we started uh, coming out here and you know preaching to the people. But that's one thing that's required of us being an Israelite. Okay, that's one thing to know you're an Israelite, and that's one thing. Uh, live, you know what I'm saying, in the Bible. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10, and verse 12. Uh -huh. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require thee? So now, Israel, you know you're an Israelite, right? Yeah. So God is going to require something from you. Right. Being an Israelite. Yeah. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. So one of the requirements is what? You have to fear God. And we're going to find out how we, how we fear God. Read. To walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Our soul, you have to uh, fear God, uh, love him, keep his way. So we're going to find out how we're supposed to do that. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Read that part again. To keep the commandments of the Lord. One more time. To keep the commandments of the Lord. That's so right. right to fear God is what? To keep his commandments. That's, That's right. right to fear God. That's 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 what it is. So that's how we fear God. I'm going to the Bible, not just you know, uh, oh I fear God. No, that's something to it. You know, there's more than that. You read. And it's statutes which I command you this day for thy good. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, so uh, give me another one, uh, first. So. Now that you know your Israelite, like you have to start to be God's law. And one of the laws that I told you about, that I just gave to you, is what? Now, I say it's called commandments. It's commandments, basically. So that's over 600 laws according to the Bible. That's right. So what's one of the laws that I just gave to you? How you doing? How you doing, sir? What's your name? Ray Sean. Ray Sean. I'm uh, Alter Dina. Um, would you be able to walk away right now and be able to show your kids, your family, anybody else, according to the Bible, that you are in his life? Yeah. How would you do that? I really, uh, go over with my mom. You go over with your mom? Yeah. But how could you prove out the Bible? How could you, because right now, I heard you say earlier, you know, we call ourselves black African Americans, right? Right. How could you prove that you're in his life? Really? That, and that's, that's the honest answer, I don't know. So I want to make sure that you ask questions and my soldier give you answers, they'll say the Bible, of how you can show your mom with the Bible, how you can show your family with the Bible that you are an Israelite. And more importantly, why are we in the condition that we're in as Israelites of the Bible society? No. And also, what are the solutions? Because it's one thing to know you're Israelite, but then what is required of you, all right? So I want you to be able to answer those questions before you walk away. Yes, yeah, so just like the officer said, uh, if you have any questions, bring it up. I want to make sure you're paying attention, brother. I got to catch the bus. Okay, you got a flyer? I got a flyer. Man. Okay. You gave me the, uh, the info for school. Yeah. school. Yeah, okay, that's good. Check out the flyer. There's some more information on that. All right. Uh, and you can know more about you being an Israel, all right? All right. All right. Yeah, so we're the Israelite according to, to the Bible. That's all right. So a while ago, the brother on the side over there was talking about what? The Bible is not a real book, it's a, it's a white man's book. So let's let's prove that. Let's prove the Bible is a black man's book. This is the book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. I am black. Read that part again. I am black. You see, did you hear that, brother? The prophet Solomon, according to the Bible, is a black man, not a white man. That's, That's right. right. So the, the Bible is for the so-called blacks, Hispanic, and Native Indians. That's right. right. Uh, oh, you know. Give me another scripture real quick oh, about black. This is the book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. Oh, you know. My skin is black upon me. Read. My skin is black upon me. You hear that, brother? My skin is 
black. Many of these what? It's it's complex. It's black. So the prophet John was a black man too. That's, That's right. right. So all of the prophets from the Bible are so-called black men, according right. to the Bible. That's right. So is the Bible the book of the dead or the book of the living? Oh, let's get the book of life real quick. Uh, Revelation. Revelation is uh, 20. Is that what it is? Because the brother was talking about a while ago, talking about the Bible. It's the book of the dead. It's the book of life. 20 and uh, 10. Is that what it is? Alright, read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. Uh -huh. Blessed are they that do his commandments. Blessed are they that do his commandments. If you keep God's laws according to the Bible, you're going to be blessed. That's right. right. That they may have right to the tree of life. You see that? To the tree of what? To the tree of life. Yeah, read it all that scripture uh, that I was looking for. Read it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 27. Uh -huh. And there shall shall in no wise enter into anything, or enter into it anything that defileth neither whatsoever worketh abomination. So this is talking about the kingdom of God that is to come. So anything that's defiled, anything that's an abomination is not getting in, read. Or maketh a lie. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. In the Lamb's book of what? In the Lamb's book of life. Book of what? The book of life. So this is the book of life, not the book of the dead. That's right. All hey, brother. All of us. Hey, brother, that, you got a question? Yep. Make that question. Hey, what's, what's your question? question? See, I see y'all preaching. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here's the thing, which I need to be preaching is practicing our Second Amendment so we can protect ourselves from the race soldiers that's killing us out here. So, so that's what we need to do. So what's the Second Amendment you refer to? To bear arms. To bear arms. To bear arms. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, give me uh, Second Corinthians 10 real quick. To bear arms, right? Yep. So if you if we bear arms right now and, and do what? what? What's the next move we got to make? Protect ourselves. Protect ourselves. Protect okay. our mothers, our uh -huh. children, right. our women. Okay. Because you see it every day they're killing people that look like me. And you. We've been having all this uh, protection since since the 60s. And nothing is working out for us. Right. So what, do you, what do you suggest we do? Just lay down? No, this, I'm going to give you the right solution according to the Bible. I'm going to give you the right solution according to the Bible. Bring it up. That's not the solution. The solution that you're coming up with is not the right. Second Corinthians 10, 10 and 4, real quick. Come on, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Read what you got. This is the book of Second Corinthians, chapter 10 and verse 4. Bring it out. For the weapons of, of our warfare. So we're talking about bearing arms, right? So the Bible is talking about bearing arms too. But let's see in what sense the Bible is talking about bearing arms. Bring it out. It's bring spiritual. It out. Read. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. It's not carnal, meaning what? It's not physical. It's not It's not about picking up guns, knives, you know, picks, none of that. That's not what the Bible okay. is about. Well, we are, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. Let, let you, me finish. I'll let you speak. I'll let you yeah, read. But mighty through God to pulling, to the pulling down of strongholds. You see that? This Bible is mighty. It's, it's the greatest weapon on earth. Do you yeah. know that? That's right. Now you know. I, I, this this I is the destroy. greatest weapon on earth I right now. I can just oh, keep reading. Verse 5. Uh -huh. Casting down imaginations. It's going to cast down imagination. If you yeah, can step back a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. So this is going to bring bring down stronghold. What's the stronghold that uh, our people is in? What's the strong Christianity okay. is okay. a stronghold. Can, can, I, can I ask you? Address how I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah. I understand. I understand. But that same Bible, that same Bible, tell us we should love our oppressors. And I can never love a white man that's killing us. Hell no. No, no. Hell no. If you think Where's that, the is, if you think that? that's the solution, that's not the solution. What's the solution? Our solution What's is economic wealth and having the, our guns the to protect ourselves. Damn the scripture. You know why? Because that scripture been here for thousands of years. We can prove it's been here for thousands of years. We can prove it's been 
here for what, thousands who, what of years. What we're talking about, read. We just sit here this reading the This is the, the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse okay. 3. Uh, okay. Trust okay. in okay. the Lord okay. with all thine heart, what, uh, what and you, lean not unto thine own understanding. Do? What you gonna do, brother? You know, right now? up on us, and you got your Bible. You know what they gonna do? They're, not, they're gonna shoot a hole right through that damn Bible. Like, oh, hold on, it's about arming ourselves. Just like the brother just read. Just like the brother just read. That Bible ain't doing shit. Don't lean onto your right now. You're leaning onto your own. We need, grab, we right need to grab our guns. Fuck hey, that damn bro, Bible. Bro. Hey, that you is hey, what's your name, bro? Y'all gonna keep on reading the Bible. What's your name, bro? Shoot you right through that damn Bible. What's your name, bro? Protect yourself from them cops. Hey, 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 fuck right that here. Bible. I'm right here, bro. That Bible was made to enslave us. That Bible was made to I'm right here, bro. Trap. Let me ask you something. What's your name? What's your name? Fuck that Bible. We need to grab our fucking guns. Are you a man? We need to grab our fucking guns. Are you a man? I'm a black man. Hey, I'm a black man in a white man's fucking Let me ask you something. Fuck that Bible. Can I ask you a question? Can I ask you a question? We need our guns. Can I ask you a question? We need our guns. Let's go first Corinthians 14 and 40. Let's go first Corinthians 14 and 40. Because this brother right here is saying that we need to pick up weapons, but he can't even ask, I, I can't even ask him a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you, who makes them guns, bro? Bring it on. Who makes the guns? Do the white man make the guns? Yes. Who makes the bullets? Bring it on. Do the white man make the bullets? Bring it on. shot by the bullets? Us, fools. So who are we getting the bullets from? If we're picking up arms, who are we getting the bullets from? Read that. The this is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, in verse 40. Let all things be done decently and in order. I'm preaching. Bro, we're here, to, we're here, we're trying to do everything decently and in order. I'm trying to address you as a man, and all he want to do is run his mouth. He don't want to dialogue. He don't want me to ask him a question. He don't want to ask me a question. We're back and forth. But watch this. Let me watch this. Revelation 13 and 10. He's reading if, our same if this is the, if Bible, this is the old person's Bible, what Bible, why would he have this in here? What does that say? Let me get Revelation 13 and 10. Watch this. Watch this. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13 and verse 10. He that leadeth into captivity. So we're talking about captivity. The same white man that put us captive. If this is his Bible, why would he have this still in here? Read. Read from the top. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's the law. Give him the law on that. And, uh, so it says, who goes leadeth into captivity will go into captivity. So that same white man that put us in captivity, he is going into captivity. That's the patience and the faith of us, the saints. We, we believe in this Bible. We know they're in. We know they're going into captivity. Read that. This is the law. Read. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 21, and verse 16. He that stealeth a man, because if you put somebody in captivity, you steal them. They're not willingly going into captivity. They stole us. They put us on slave ships. Hey, pick that up real quick. You see all that up real quick. You see all these pictures? What did they stole us? They put us in captivity. They put us in slave in slavery. They stole us. We didn't go willingly. We and selleth him. What are we doing? Or if he be found in his head. If that if that person be found in his hand or he sells him, let's see the judgment for that. Read. He shall surely be put to death. That white man is going to die for what he did for us. That's to us. He's going to die. Who's going to curse? Who's going to help his downfall? Who's going to do it? Who's going to do it? You got it? You think them sons going to do it? You got it? But watch this. Watch this. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. Because, because the timetable that you want to do it, God, God's not working on your timetable. Right. You're working on his, bro. Right. You can't rush God. You can't sit there and say, hey, pick up, pick up arms and bullets against the so-called white man when he got missiles, he got bombs, he got planes, he got helicopters. Right. Right. Have you have you ever heard of uh what's what's the Tulsa uh Tulsa uh, Black Wall Street? Black Wall Street. Have you ever heard of Black Wall Street before, bro? What what happened to Black Wall Street? What happened to Black Wall Street? We didn't have to Black Wall Street. We didn't have guns. Hundreds of white people descended upon Black Wall Street armed. 
black residents withdrew behind the railroad tracks that marked off the Greenwood District. Some of them were armed and fought back. Some of them were armed and fought back. But they were outnumbered by the white mob, which shot their way through. The white mob murdered. They looted and they set fire to Black Wall Street. We could have had all the AK-47, all the M-16s, all the Uzis that we wanted. They did not go, they didn't got go man for man uh, on us with Black Wall Street. They bombed us. They wiped us out from the air. Black man, you do not have a damn airplane. Bring it on. This is the book of 2 Peter, chapter 3 and verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. So it said the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. Nobody knows when God, when uh, Christ is coming back to redeem his people. Read. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. When the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. That's that bomb, nuclear fire that's coming for the Most High God. Right, right. right. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Because when a nuclear bomb hits, the streets, the metal, even the windows, they melt. That's they right. melt. They that's will right. pass away with fervent heat. Read. With fervent heat, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. All of this place is going to be burnt up. North America will be that so-called lake of fire that you hear about. That's right. right. That's who's coming. That's how Christ is coming back to save us. That's what he's doing. Let me get Zephaniah 12 and 14 real quick, and then I'm going to give it back to the soldier. Because Zechariah 12, 12 and 14. All praise. Thank you, bro. Because he asks, how is that going to happen? He don't know this Bible. He just runs his mouth. We cannot pick up guns against the person who make the guns. That sounds crazy. That's right. right. How you going to go to the person like, all right, I need some guns, and I'm going to fight against you with the guns. Come on, man. Come on, that is crazy. Read. Yeah. Zephaniah 12 and verse uh, 14 and verse 12. Read. This is the book of Ze Zechariah, chapter 14 and verse 12. You know? And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people. So this is the plague. This is that fervent heat. This is that bomb that we read about in uh, 2 Peter. Read. With uh, all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. So all the people that came against God's chosen, the Israelites, according to the Bible, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, y'all should be listening and y'all should be rejoicing in this thing. That's right. This is what he's going to do to all the nations that came against you. you their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What does that? When a nuclear bomb hit, you don't even have time to run. Your flesh is going to consume away. You're going to be standing right there where you at, sitting right there where you at a pile of ash read That's you know right. and their eyes shall consume away in their holes your eyes is going to consume away they're going to melt away because your eyes is 90 percent water that is going to evaporate it's going to consume away in their holes read and their tongues shall consume away in their mouths and your tongue is going to consume away in your mouth. That's the patience and the faith of the saints that we have that's going to happen to the nations when our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, come back to punish these nations. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.